Hi, this is Sue Polinski from Tech Triad. And in this short lesson, we're going to learn how to get a new file from my computer to my website. The new file is over here. It's called 2011 about techtriad.pdf. This is a PDF file that I want to put in my About Us folder. Now the About Us page is really just a make-believe page. It's the About Us page. So I'm going to get into editing mode, but I'm really not going to edit the page. I'm just getting into editing mode so I'm connected to the website. Now, what I want to do is go to File, Publish a File from My Computer. Where's your file? You can find it anywhere you want. Mine's on my desktop. And remember, it starts with 2011. So if I start typing 2011, I'm going to find everything starting with 2011. And that's the file I want to publish to my About Us folder. Maybe it's a press release. Maybe it uh, could be anything. So I select that file. And now Contribute asks me which website. Remember, we manage many, many websites. You may only have one, you may have two or three, but the list is here. And I'm going down to our Tech Triad Contribute Training Test Site again, and I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to ask me, see, there's my file back here. Here's the name of my file. That's exactly what I want it to be, but you could change it. Suppose you didn't have the 2011 first, I would tell you put in the 2011. Put in a date at the beginning, it's the best thing you can do. I have a little bit about it and I have no blank spaces in my file name. No blank spaces. So I take a look up here and I have to decide where do I want it on my website. So I pick choose the folder. Well, I'm in a folder, so I want to go to my website and see what my choices are. Well, here's the About folder. That seems a logical place to put it. So I double click About, and I decide do I want it right in the About folder, or do I want to create a folder inside About, maybe called Documents, which is like the best thing you could name a folder for things like that. And the answer is yes, I want a new folder. So what's the name of this new folder? Well, it's documents. And if you notice, I always put website stuff in lowercase as much as I can, and I never leave blank spaces. Click OK. And now I'm in the documents folder inside the about folder. And I select that folder and I check my link. Here's the file name. Test it, try it about documents, and there's a, that's exactly what I want, so I click publish. So now I've done two things at the same time. I have published my PDF and I've put it into a brand new folder, and then I get this message you can't use contribute to edit this kind of file. No, it's a PDF. Of course, I can't. I have to find my site again. I'm kind of in my browser here. If I use the back button, it takes me back to the page I was editing. And here's where people get into trouble. Because I was in editing mode, even though I didn't edit anything, I have an unpublished draft. And I have to do something with it, or it's going to tell you you're edi editing it on another computer later. I've made no changes. I'm going to discard the draft. Yes, I'm sure. That's all there is to it. Watch this again if you didn't get each step. But tips and tricks, have your file ready in an easy place to find and follow the steps and you should be fine. We'll see you at the next screencast.